Hi y'all, welcome back to This Is How We Do It. I'm making this video to tell you my life story and the reason why I have teeth like that. Because when I made my video, there was people that were so rude, they would talk about how I would get no girls and my teeth and all that. Well, I hope y'all know, I do actually get girls. I get a lot actually, but not as much anymore. Uh, when I was at Texas, I had over six girlfriends. Not at the same time, but different timelines. And yeah, so to the story. When growing up, my mom went to jail. It was when I was a baby, and she broke up with my dad beforehand. My mom was a serious drug addict, and she did a lot of things that were bad, which got her in jail. I got separated from my two brothers and sisters, and I was lucky enough to get caught by my grandparents. Uh, I lived in Texas with my grandparents while I never even knew I had a mother until I was seven years old, but we'll get to that point. And when I was growing up in Texas, I had a couple of friends that were older than me. They would mess with me, they would do all kinds of things. Even there was a true friends over there, but not so true friends. All of them started leaving and moving to different places, and I was left alone with actually two friends. And then one of them also left after. Then I was left for, then another guy, I meant to say. Another guy moved in. His name was Jordan, the best friend I ever had in the whole world at Texas. He was the most nicest friend I ever met. And we always had each other's backs. Me and him, we would always get in big trouble because we never knew when what was right or wrong. Our parents, or, and grandparents, I guess, would always be harsh on us a little. And he would always be that bad. But the real reason why my teeth are so big is because they not always was that big, but when I was young, I had cigarettes. And we would always smoke them since we had no one else to tell us not to. We would always keep it from our parents and grandparents so they wouldn't know. And we would always go to the back of one of the brown houses so no one see us. And so uh, probably a month or two later, um, his brother came out while we were doing it and told everybody. Then we got big, big trouble. They never knew how long we were doing it, so we didn't get in as trouble as we would have. But that's the reason why, because we would put it in between our teeth just so we can, like, uh, that's how we saw on videos and all that. Is that you put it th between your teeth and you're supposed to get, like, all of it down through your throat and everything. And it feels perfect. But we'd always cough and everything and it didn't really feel too great. And uh, we also did a lot, of, a, a lot of bad other things that made our teeth real wide. Or at least only mine because he didn't want to do it. Uh, and yeah, we were always with the bad people and people would always tell us to do things. Then there was like no other friends I had at all in Texas, except for my girlfriend, Mia, or Mia was the best, beautifulest girl in the whole dang school. But it didn't last long because I had to move. I wish I should have stayed there, but Mia ever gets this. I hope she knows I loved her. Um... I was always kind of not happy going to school because no one really liked me. I was hoping for someone ever to like me and then Mia came in. Not a single person in the whole world ever liked me. I mean, except for my grandparents and some people who live next to me. But school? No, not really. Not even my teachers except for one, Miss Thompson. But otherwise, yeah, that's the reason why my teeth is so big because of what we did next to my houses. And uh, since I had to move from Texas, my life started getting better here. But I still did really bad things here too, but not as bad as I was in Texas. My nickname that was in Texas when I went to school was Demon Child because how many bad things would happen? I would technically get expelled from school. I brought a knife to school once, not a good thing at all. Um, and I would always get really hurt. Uh, there was these trees that got cut down over there. We used to always climb in those and everything. I fell down and my arm kind of went down. I did it on purpose so I could commit suicide, but I never really told my grandparents or anything. 
the reason why I did it was because I didn't really feel right in that, in that place, but yeah. And the moment I went to Kentucky, everything went better. I still don't live to anybody, uh, live near anybody my age. At least more people in my school like me and all that, but it's not as great as I wished. But yeah, at least some of them do. Um, yeah, I'm still with some bad people. But I always try to be the best as I could be and hope for other people to be as nice as they can be as I nice to them. But yeah, I wanted to tell y'all this story because y'all probably has been subbed to me for a while. And yeah, I'm pretty nice enough to do that. Thank you if you listen to this all the way. And I hope you're having a nice day. Thank y'all so much.